Take the belly <laughs> Okay, please, please don't be crossbows. Oh my god, even worse. The wand, really? You think I'm gonna be able to do this with a wand? Oh no. Oh no. So here's the problem. On one armed, because he doesn't have many weapons, you need to kill the mobs as fast as you could. But the problem with the wand is that it kills enemies very slowly. I don't want to say no chance, but slim to none. <laughs> well, we shall see. We shall see. One arm, 200% attack speed, damage modifications are increased by 100%. You can only equip one weapon at a time. We're going to give it three tries. Three tries. Wand, danger five. I'm screwed. <laughs> Okay, uh, give me, give me 10 seconds, I need to think of a strategy that may work. Hmm. Hmm. I think I know what to do. But I need to get lucky. Uh, elemental damage, definitely. Uh, less damage, more HP, sure. Uh, okay, that's a wand upgrade. Uh, we're gonna take the trees, actually. Maybe we get some shit out of them. And XP as well. Let's go, wave two. So, I had the... Like, the thing that I said about crystal people. Uh... And manifestations and so on. I uh, I sadly had the pleasure of meeting someone who believed in manifestation and crystals a couple of weeks ago. So I'm I'm pretty traumatized by those people. I'm pretty traumatized. But how much energy can one person hold in herself? Honestly, it was amazing. It, terrifyingly amazing. I never want to see her again. Spirit food, more consumable healing. Yes. Uh, armor wouldn't hurt. Uh, oh, snake! Snake! Nice! Burning express to an additional enemy. These might save my ass. These might save my ass. Oh, okay. Head injury. Nice. Let's go. Wave 3. So, she... Like, dude. Like, how much pretentious can you even be? Like, uh, I don't know. Like, if it was a personal thing... Or it's like that amongst all people who believe in those garbage stuff. But she couldn't stop talking about like the energy, what's happening with the world, people chakra, their energy and so on. I was like, come on, stop, please, my ears are bleeding. More elemental damage. Now sausage next. No, actually we don't need sausages. Uh, wand all wand has a hundred percent chance of burning things, so uh, sacred sausage is unnecessary, kinda. But well, if we get the sausage, uh, we can make some, uh, let's say, kinky foreign play. But let's see what happens though. Uh, coupon for item discounts. Yeah, more snakes would be better than sacred sausage, honestly. Uh, more XP. We're gonna take that. Do you like burning things? Uh, well, we shall, we shall, actually, as a child, yes, I did. As a child, I loved burn, like fire, in general. I had a problem <laughs> that my mom had to stop. I'll tell you about that. Let me, let me finish the story about the energy person. Does your uni know this? They don't need to know that. I was, I was like five, six, when I loved fire. <laughs> so, this girl couldn't stop talking about like everything and so on, and eventually it it was I think she was very much flirting, and okay, I I have standards, okay, I date crazy people, but not every crazy per person, like, uh, like usually. Usually if I want to date uh, more HP, usually if I want to date someone, I having them being messed up a little bit up there 
is a good thing. It makes them fun, but not crazy, crazy, okay? And midway, like, she was talking and telling me about she's feeling good about my energy, even though it's the first time we meet. There must be something deeper into this and so on. I was like, bitch, just tell me you want to bang. Just tell me you want to bang me. That's okay. You don't need to make up all this bullshit. And then I was like, hmm, did all of those girls back in the high school that I was trying to, like, flirt with feel the same? Like, they knew that I want to do this to them? And they were still, like, there and listening to me? This is painful. <laughs> Man, now I'm interested in how you get from dating to burning. <laughs> no, I wanted to finish the whole thing about the uh, energy person. Oh, another snake. Nice. So, yeah, it, it was... It felt both... Oh my god, another snake? Okay, we are winning this. So, I'm gonna spread four, four burns per attack now. Oh, you didn't burn the box. That's why I love college towns in this day. <laughs> okay, we that, that. <laughs> Don't talk like that. That is bad manners. Uh, it honestly, I uh, like. Oh god. Okay. Uh, that was bad. It uh, like. I'm I'm one of the luckiest people alive because, uh, thankfully, I, I was a college slut as well. I was a I was literally a slut. I I would date anyone that could breed back in the day. <laughs> Like when I when I was like in college before like going to the university and so on, I I would just date anyone, and I'm not even joking there. I'm I I got just lucky. I meet a very very good gal who may put a little bit sense into me, and I become more romantic than just a whore. <laughs> so you're by no, a, a slot is not just meant for females it's it's just for everyone everyone can be a slut yeah i i was lucky i met a gal that really really showed me uh how deeper emotions and deeper bonding can make your life much better so i, I quit being a, stop, a slut when I got to university, thank thanks God I changed. I if I didn't change, I was gonna ruin my life somehow. STDs were the minimum that I was going to get. I'm I'm sure of it. <laughs> STDs were the least of my worries by now. If I kept the same lifestyle. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't really want attack speed, but let's take it. Why not? Oh, more damage. So, now, let's... Oh my god, hunting trophy, really? Like, on the most useless weapon, hunting trophy? Uh, don't buy hunting trophies on elemental weapons. Elemental weapons do not benefit from crit. So, crit is a waste of, let's say, stat for him. Uh, unless you're playing, like, the lightning shiv. Uh, or, let's say, nuke launcher. Oh, another one. Now we're gonna do 18 uh, damage five times with each burn. And uh, more harvesting. Another tree. Uh, Lifesteal is garbage too. But I would take some, but not in cost of elemental damage. This is also a bad item. But we have to take it because I need to take every elemental damage that I see. One more. Oh, dodge. Lodge. Actually, no, I don't want to lose dodge. We need 60 dodge. So, well, let's now go back to the topic of my childhood and how I love burning things. So, uh, there, back in Iran, we, we have something like the Chinese New Year. Uh, we 
we light fires and we just make some let's say fireworks go on it's 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 more like fourth of july uh like for you guys than like a let's say uh, a chinese thing um so we just burn make a bonfire then people jump over it to like get good luck and so on and they have some ceremonies they do in the morning they go to the lakes and pick up some water for good fortune and well basically that that thing is mostly about fire and burning and so on people just want to see some shit go boom boom that's basically an excuse oh alien eyes get um got to jump over crack like <laughs> what 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 where did that come from <laughs> Where did that comment even come from? A crit chance and elemental damage. We take it. Oh, shot bullet. Nice, 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 nice. Is it jumping over both fires? How did you connect that to this? <laughs> oh my god. Wave 9. Okay, now we shouldn't have a problem. Be dealing with any kind of mob uh, so yeah it's it's basically an excuse for people just to light some fire and go look around let's see but what my parents discovered when I was like five was that I love fire too much I in fact love fire too much so what happened was my uncle my uncle showed me a trick that if you put uh, put gas literally like uh, out of a lamp like uh, I think uh, you guys have seen those uh, lamps that are that use gas as their uh, let's say ignition so my uncle showed me a cool trick because we do that in winter it was snowing out so my uncle picks up uh, it's a piece of snow and makes a snowball then puts it on the gas lamp uh, and removes that uh, thing on the top of the lamp and starts like uh, putting some gas inside the snowball and then uh, puts put some fire into the snowball and sets the goddamn snowball on fire uh, I'm gonna take the repent here and uh, we need everything that does some kind of damage so oh sector sausage nice uh, free rolls, HP regeneration, uh, ugly to four actually. I'm gonna take that medal. So my uncle uh, lights up the snowball and then starts like jug juggling that uh, the snowball in his hand, and I was like, "Whoa, that's a cool trick! That is a fucking cool trick! You can light a fucking snowball on fire." But what my uncle didn't know was that I'm a bad child. I was a terrible child. I wish no one's child is like me. Like, it is torture to have a child like me. <laughs> I was terrible. I was a terrible he child. So what he didn't know that I like fire a little bit too much. And he thought, yeah, this motherfucker will definitely now try to do that on his own. But you know what? This motherfucker actually did try it on his own. Uh, when my uncle left, I just picked up the lamp and I made a very huge snowball. A very huge one. I could hardly pick it up. And I pick up the snowball and I put the snowball on the lamp and then uh, like turn it on and put some gas inside the snowball. But, well, I'm a child. I have no concept of fear and death. So, while the lamp is, is still on and there is gas coming out of it, I did not put the gas off. I just lit the lamp and the, f and the snowball, which was a giant fireball by now, on fire. And then that scared the shit out of me because there was fire flying to the roof. Like there was fire on the roof. And thanks God, thanks goodness. 
it wasn't inside the house. It was just in a shed out, uh, like, in my grandma's place. So, there was so much fire coming out of that lamp that the fire just went up to the roof inside the shed. And I was, like, scared shitless. So I didn't know how to put it off. I kicked the lamp while it was a live flamethrower into the wall. <laughs> and number one lucky, I did not burn to death. Number two, the fucking lamp didn't blow up. Number three, I ran out of that place. Uh, mastery, no, 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 armor. Uh, give me something that gives dodge and shit, man. Ah, uh, HP, okay. So, I was just lucky. I was just goddamn lucky. Oh my god, another snake. So, I run out of the shed, and the shit I shed is by now just a big ball of fire. And, well, guess what? That shed was the place that my grandparents stored everything. Uh, like, uh, in Iran, people usually used to buy most of their food for the year. Uh, because things, like, get uh, more expensive every year. So they hoarded, like, food and consumables in their shed back, back, back in the day. So I burned the whole shed. I burnt all of their food resources for a whole year and also scarred my uncle forever because he was having panic attacks when he came back because I was scared. I knew that my mom is gonna beat the shit out of me if she finds me because they knew, they just knew that I did that shit. So, instead of like being a good child, a cute child that runs to mama and says, Mom, I was almost died there. I went and hid. I went into some place in the backyard and stayed hidden till almost like, I think midnight? Yeah, it was around midnight when they found me. So, yeah. Around midnight they found, finally found me and they thought that I was dead. They thought that I burned there. Yeah. <laughs> my my childhood stories are just <laughs> fucked up, man. Uh, that's why I say no one should have a child like me. That is why I always say that I hope nobody ever has a child like me. And why my uncle was feeling down? Because he thought he killed me. My uncle literally suffered. I traumatized that guy, man. I traumatized him literally for life. Because I was gone for like eight hours. Uh, I was just hiding in the backyard. So for eight hours, everyone in the family thought that my uncle just just killed me. Straight out just killed a child. <laughs> By teaching him a trick about fireballs. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's, there you go. That's a, that's a fun story about me loving fire too much during my childhood. Ah, <laughs> uh, sad tomato, not really. Eh, more attack speed, sure. More consumable healing, more elemental damage, more attack speed crit and range. And more damage, another sacred sausage. Come on, man, give me a, give me a goddamn orient already. This is this is working too well now. <laughs> I didn't expect to come this far with this build, to be honest. Uh, I thought like we were gonna die around wave 12, but now we are on 14 and we are destroying everything. Oh, the burn damage is so good. Oh, the burn damage is so good. And when one of them dies inside the group, the Rippentier is making the explosion. So everyone just goes boom. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. I 
don't don't tell my university about me loving fire as a child. They can profile you for arson later. <laughs> that information. <laughs> Ah, recycler, sure. Luck. Eh, tentacle, sure. If you heal me once, even. That's more than enough. Nope. Oh, that's our legendary wand. Now, we're gonna be burning for 63 damage every 6 seconds. And out of nowhere, we get eye surgery. Campfire, sure. I'm actually gonna take the wheat stone as well. Let's go. Wait, 15. Oh, boy. Uh, I used to like like lighting shit on fire so much that uh, my mom took me a child like came to the school uh, and my teacher was telling my mom that he lit a fire in the trash can in the school and my they found a way uh, so every week uh, instead of me lighting fires on my own my mom had to take me to the back to our yard and make a fire so I can play with it for like hours so I wouldn't like light something or someone on fire for the next week so that, that's how they got me under control with the fire thing <laughs> my mom had to spend like 3-4 hours every weekend out of her goddamn time that she already didn't have because we were 3 children in one house for just sitting there while her son was just looking at the abyss of a fire. Ah, uh, armor. Ah, uh, eye surgery for 10% faster burns, but less range. We don't care about range. More elemental damage and HP regen, less speed, more lifesteal, more damage, more elemental damage. And finally, we get a torrent. This torrent is simply gonna win us the game, kinda. And not the snake. Okay, you're gonna burn some shit, dude. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna take the butterfly. Let's go. Wave 6. 16. So now, feast your eyes upon the power of Torrent. With a sacred sausage. Look at that burn, baby. Look at that burn. <laughs> oh boy, that Torrent is gonna get so many kills. It's a level 1 Torrent. But it's it's basically doing the same damage as me almost. With the sacred sausage right now. Just look at him. Like, they can hardly make it to me. Just with one torrent in the center. <laughs> nice. Like, this was my whole plan to get Sacred Sausage and some torrents. But honestly, the wand got too powerful. I'm, I'm like Gandalf if he lost an arm right now. But a better version of the Gandalf. I'm a better Gandalf. I'm a potato tar. No, actually, potato tarf doesn't rhyme. And uh, potato tarf. Hey, tarf. That that's disgusting. That's bad. That was bad. More damage and HP. Ah, come on, not medical torrent. Eh, not really. Less attack speed, more damage. Sure. Eh, whatever. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, this is over. This is officially over. We got an explosive torrent. We have sacred sausage. Where's my sacred sausage? Yeah, so we have an explosive torrent and sacred sausage. And we also have a sharp bullet. So this thing will just destroy everything. No, that sausage would come in handy. Yeah, I, I, I... I usually buy the sausages, like even though the wand doesn't get the kills, uh, just because of the torrents and how powerful the torrents can get, I usually buy uh, the sacred sausage on wand. Oh my god, look at the beautiful knockback of this weapon. Oh, that is fantastic knockback, look at that. Yeah, that knockback is definitely huge. Uh, I think it was wise of the developers to give knockback to the elemental weapons because, uh, well, elemental weapons are fast killers, okay? And the knockback buys you enough time to make the enemies burn. So it, it's, it's really a good match. Like, it's really a good match. 
And uh, this is not even my original knockback because I I took a Wheatstone, and the Wheatstone decreases my knockback. So this is this is me, not even with the full knockback on the weapon. Yeah, uh, the the weapon itself has ten knockback. I reduced it a little bit now. It's seven knockback, but it's still damn OP. <laughs> yeah, I think we said that, like, when you just said that, I I was, like, talking about it, and then I saw your chat, too. <clears throat> uh, let me see my consumable healing. Oh my god, eight consumable healing. Don't mind if I do. Explosive torrent, Sue? That, this, this thing, this thing will just destroy. This is the destroyer of the worlds right now. That is not a level 4 torrent. That is the destroyer. This is the Thanos torrent right now. It's literally a Thanos torrent. And, well, let's go. 18. Just look at the glory of that torrent right now, man. But, to be honest, like, one thing and only thing that the elemental weapons suck at is boss fighting. Boss fighting is obnoxious with elemental weapons. And especially if you have just one weapon. Oh, we are not killing that. We are not gonna kill that. Yep, I do not have the direct damage to kill that boss. Yeah, I, I need much more damage for the last bosses, man. This will not kill them. This will not kill the last bosses. I might survive them, but I'm definitely not gonna kill them with just this much. Uh, less armor, but 1 HP per armor. That's good, that's cool. Oh, adrenaline? Nice. 5% dodge and 50% chance to heal 5 HP even dodging an attack. Uh, I'm actually gonna get the crit. Maybe we do some more damage with the uh, elemental thing. And another jail until another alien eye. More enemies and damage. More luck. Come on, give me something good. Okay, no, not net that. That torrent sucks ass. Armor, damage. Let's see. Let's see what do we do. Oh, where's my. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna sit here. Yeah, if you wanna get to me, you gotta get past that torrent. Oh my god, look at it. It's exploding, and if they don't die of the explosions, they're dying from the burns that the explosions leave behind. Nope. Yeah, boy, come, come, come. This is my bastion. This is my bastion of hope. Welcome to destruction. But the placement of these two torrents are perfect right now. <laughs> I feel I feel so safe here. <laughs> oh, okay, let's gather coins. Oh boy, that was so many coins in one place. Oh come on, I wanna kill that. Please die. Thank you. Okay, we, we got like 570 coins. Less damage, more crit, sure. I'm gonna get the armor because armor is gonna give us HP also. And less damage, more armor, less attack speed, more damage, more elemental damage and crit. I have one more item at least. Uh, crit or armor. Honestly, this fight is gonna take too long. So I think armor would be better than the tentacle. Uh, nah, fuck it, fuck it. More offense. More offensive. 3% crit and more chance to heal ourselves. Let's go see if we can kill the last bosses. Oh my god, what happened? Jesus. Okay, I stepped on the landmine there. That was not good. We will kill him. But I don't really have the healing required for this shit right now. 
If I get hit too many times, this is just gonna end up miserably. Come on, little buddy. I believe in you. You can do this. You're the Gandalf of the Potato Land. You shall... You shall see the end of these bosses, come on. Oh, this damage is so bad. <laughs> this damage is so goddamn bad. Come on, die! Thank you! And it's your friend's turn. I'm just gonna hug him. There you go! Boom! Boom! <laughs> Impressive run. Yeah! Yeah! We, we pulled it off. We pulled it off. I've never played this. I have never played this thing.